welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so, so excited. So as you all know, Emily Noel 83 launched a couple palettes with Makeup Revolution or Revolution Makeup, Makeup Revolution. I always get confused as to like what order the words go in. Anyway, I got the Wants palette and the Needs palette because it's Emily Noel. So I'm like, uh, I trust whatever she has to say. I got both because quite frankly, Emily Noel 83 is just one of those people that I just trust so much when it comes to makeup in general. Like if she told me to wear a banana peel on top of my head and wear it as a hat, I would do it. So today I want to dive into the Wants palette because I feel like the Needs palette, like they're both like really good, but I really just want to dive into this one with all like the fun colors. Full disclosure, I have not tried anything yet, so this is going to be like a first impressions because Quite frankly, I was just too excited to like do a review. Like I don't want to like, I don't know. I just want to go ahead and play with the colors. I don't want to have to do like wait a few weeks and try out all the colors through a review. Like I just want to play with it now. So we're going to do that today. But before we get started, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell on the side so you can know whenever I post a video. And also I always put a link to my Instagram down below. On my Instagram, I usually post um, a couple videos a week of me doing really quick makeup looks like really fast, like 10 minutes or less, like usually like really basic makeup. So if you're interested in seeing how to do maybe faster, quicker makeup looks, go check out my Instagram. So my face has been primed and prepped, so let's go ahead and just dive into a look. So full disclosure, I have never used any products from Makeup Revolution ever, but since Emily decided to do a collaboration with them, I was like, well, if it's good enough for Emily, it's good enough for me. So this is my first time trying their products ever, so I hope I like them, I'm sure I will. So the color that calls to me the most is the shade called Corduroy. It looks just like a really dark teal. So I think that's what I'm gonna focus on today. And before I go into it, I'm gonna go into the shade called Prayer. This looks like more of a warm tone, like transition shade. So we're gonna go ahead and dip into Prayer with a big fluffy brush like this. We're gonna go ahead and place this in the crease here. This is coming out a little bit more pink than I was expecting, but we'll go with it. So I believe this palette here, the Wants was $20. And I bought like the needs and the wants at the same time, which is very affordable. But the shipping and handling to Canada, <sighs> with the shipping and handling, it definitely took it out of like the affordable drugstore range, which kind of sucks. We, in Canada, we don't have Ulta. I mean, I've never seen one. There's definitely not one in Quebec. If there is one in another province, I would be very surprised, but also like pleasantly surprised, but. I don't think there's an Ulta in Canada, which really sucks. I know that some people, when they do like a first impression, they'll do like a different eye look. Like one eye will be one color, one eye will be another color. I don't want to do that. I really want to like enjoy this look and just enjoy everything about this. I started watching Emily Noel 83 in like 2010, 2011. Like whenever she had the pink room, that's when I was watching her. And she is one of the first people that I started watching. I used to watch her. Um, and Zabrina, did you guys watch Zabrina? And also like, what was her name? Like Fafinet X3. They were just people that were just doing like makeup tutorials and I was just like, okay, I need to learn how to do my makeup. And that's how I learned to do my makeup by watching makeup videos on YouTube. So I'm gonna go into Corduroy using this little like tapered blending brush. I'm basically gonna use this to like place the color and then use a separate brush to blend. I'm excited to try these cool tones like the teals and the purples too because Oftentimes when I wear cool tones, like the blues, the purples, the greens, they just look muddy on me. Like they don't really come out as like a true color. They just turn into mud, which is annoying. So hopefully these stay true to color. That looks pretty green. I'm so happy. Okay, now going in with a separate blending brush, we're just gonna blend this out. So at this point, I'm just gonna keep blending and then keep adding more as I go because since it's so dark, I'd rather add gradually and then keep blending than add too much and then regret my life decisions. So just blend a little bit, add a little bit more, keep blending, keep adding a little bit more, just like it's a slow process. And as always, whenever I post these videos, I always edit out the blending process. So at home, if you're doing this and it's taking you like much longer than the video, don't worry, I just edited out like the seven minutes of me blending, okay? Don't worry. As I mentioned, this is not a review. I'm just like enjoying the palette for what it is. But one thing I can notice is that like 
I love that there's a giant mirror, but since the palette is so huge, it's like a little bit awkward to hold. And like, as you're doing your makeup, your hand gets tired. Just keep that in mind that it's like a little bit heavy. Like it's not heavy right away, but then when you're holding it for like eight minutes then it starts to get a little bit heavy, you know? But I like how the green is staying green. So I am rereading the entire Harry Potter series this summer. I'm at um, the Half Blood Prince, which means, oh, spoilers by the way, if you haven't read the series, um, there are spoilers ahead. Um, so I just, I just finished reading The Order of the Phoenix, which is one of my favorite books, one of my favorite movies in the series, but also like, so, so sad. My favorite character in the entire series is Sirius Black. Every time I rewatch the movie and every time I reread the series, I'm like, maybe it won't happen this time. The Order of the Phoenix, the book probably came out like, when did it come out? I was, I was a teenager because I started reading the series and I was like 11 or 12 or maybe 13 or 14. So like, I was like a teenager, like slash early adult, not really an adult, but you know, late teens. And I definitely had a huge, huge crush on Sirius Black and I feel like rereading the books has just like reignited that and the fact that the character like the character is played by Gary Oldman I'm just like hello but yeah every time I read it every time I watch the book every time I watch the book every time I watch the movie he dies so rude I feel like writing a strongly worded letter to J.K. Rowling and be like excuse me who do you think you are the author obviously but like can you just not kill off the good characters? And then like, I know what's coming next in The Half-Blood Prince. I know what's happening next. I know what's gonna happen in The Deathly Hallows. All of my favorite characters, like Sirius Black, Remus Lupin, Tonks, Dobby. Are you kidding me? So I'm like really excited to reread the series, but also like past The Goblet of Fire, it kind of hits the fan. Because really, Sirius didn't have to die. Sirius gave Harry that little mirror that he could use to contact him whenever he needed to, but he didn't because whatever. And the whole book, uh, Harry is like angsty and like annoying and like people keep telling him to go talk to Dumbledore to tell him that like he keeps having these dreams and he doesn't. And if he had just gone to Dumbledore and told him earlier or if Dumbledore had done something and if Snape had continued like the occlumency classes with Harry. I just have a lot of strong feelings and opinions about this book, okay? I have to say that these blend very well. Like the dark matte like teal green shade corduroy really blends out very well. You know, it's staying very dark and it's staying very green, which I like. So I apologized earlier for my Harry Potter rant and also I left my fan on so you may have heard like a, like a whooshing sound. I'm gonna go back into prayer with this big fluffy brush, just like very lightly, and I'm just gonna like tap off like the excess. And I'm just gonna go over where the green is here and just blend that out. So I'm gonna go into the shade called Dark and Early, which is right next to Corduroy, which is the darker one. And I'm gonna go ahead and just place this like just in the corner here, just to make it a little bit darker. I think this is a black shade, if that makes sense. Now that I've placed that dark shade, I'm just gonna go over with a little bit more of the green corduroy shade and just blend that out. And then again, over top with the big fluffy brush and whatever's left of the shade called Prayer, we're just gonna blend that one out again. I mean, blending is key. When in doubt, just keep blending. So now I need a shade to put on the inner corner here. I'm thinking, I don't know, like either Side Hustle or Grateful. I'm just gonna do a little swatch. Okay, so um, I don't want to give you the finger, but this one here, this one is Grateful, and the one next to it is Side Hustle. Wish we could do like a live vote. I think I'm going to go with Grateful. I feel like that pops a bit more. So, okay, I'm going to go with Grateful. That's that light mossy green. Maybe not mossy. It's like almost like a mint, like a light mint green. I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush with a setting spray because I feel like with any kind of shimmery color like that, I would do it anyway, so I think it's fair to do the same thing with this palette here. So using this flat, small, narrow brush, I'm dipping into Grateful, and I'm placing this like on the inner third of the eye. Yeah. So now that that's placed, I'm gonna go back into the little tapered brush and just make sure that it's blended. 
and a blending brush and you know what I'm doing. I am making sure that it is blended. That shimmer color is really shimmery. It's really nice. I like it a lot. Okay, so I think this is all I'm going to do for the eye makeup right now. I'm going to go ahead and do the face makeup off camera and come right back. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go back into the shade Corduroy with this small tapered brush and I'm just going to sweep very gently under the lashes here. I basically just want to connect the bottom eyeshadow here with the top one just to have like more harmonious eyeshadow look. But as you can see, I'm not going far into the eye. I'm really just keeping it out on the like outer third of the eye because I don't want to bring it too deep. It'll make it more intense and more heavy and it might also make my eyes look a bit more tired and small than they are. So I'm going to keep it pretty light and just go at this far. Okay, so I'm now taking this little tapered brush here. I'm going to go into the shade called Oh Heavens because it just looks like a really nice highlighting shade. So I'm just taking this and highlighting the brow bone. Ooh, it's very pretty. And taking a little bit of this color, I'm just going to place it on the inner corner here just to brighten that up. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I am very happy with how this came out. I'm so happy that Shade Corduroy performed as well as I was hoping. I love how dark and green it stayed, even on someone with a warm complexion like me. I love it. So yeah, I am so happy about this palette. I'm so proud of Emily. Congratulations. I doubt she will watch this, but congratulations, Emily. Um, this palette is fantastic. Obviously, I've, I tried like four shades out of the whole palette, so this is not a review saying that like everything's amazing, although I'm sure it will be. But yeah, this is look number one. I think this is amazing. I love the greens. I love the light green shade here. I just, I, I really am a fan of this palette. So I think for the next look, I think I'm gonna do something with the purples because there's a bunch of purple ones and especially that shade Belle Violet, it's kind of calling to me. But also there's that shade Love Tons and Laugh Cry. Anyway, leave a comment down below letting me know which shades you love the most and also which shades you want to see in tutorials because obviously I will be doing a whole bunch more tutorials with this palette. I can't help but do like at least like three or four looks with this. I mean, come on, there's so many shades. So yeah, leave a comment down below letting me know if you bought this palette or the um, needs. Which one's this? This one's the needs, this one's the wants. I got both because I have a slight makeup addiction. And by slight makeup addiction, I mean I probably should have a TLC reality TV show talking about my makeup collection. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me that you watch my videos. It means a lot to me that you take your time to put me in your world and make me part of your day. That means a lot to me. And if no one has told you today, you are beautiful, you are kind, and you are capable. So go out there and conquer the world, okay? So that's all I have for the video today. Please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that little notification bell on the side so you can actually know whenever I post a video. And that's all I have for you guys for today. I will see you guys next time and I look forward to creating lots more looks for you guys. Bye.